clean out is a gross allergy case all by itself. Cool. I wonder what it is. What it used to be. <laughs> now that school's on, you can be full-time grossologists. I can show you some help around here. <laughs> so I see. <laughs> 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 It's gonna have to wait, though. We have the school camping trip this weekend. I'm totally psyched. It's my last chance to hang with Naomi. Oh, before she leaves for the summer. Hmm. Ugh, have fun in the great outdoors. I have to get home and practice pitching a tent. So, uh, just how far do you have to throw it, anyway? Oh, this is gonna be one long weekend. Finally, the school is empty. <laughs> but not for long. I can. It's your fault we're late. Hey, I have to finish packing. Oh, what have you got in there anyway? Just camping essentials. Sleeping bag, flashlight, fondue set. Huh? What? Naomi likes fondue. Will you freaks get out of my way? I'm going to miss the bus. And we are not? I had to pick up my designer hiking shorts. Just because we're camping doesn't mean we have to dress like slobs. Obviously, you don't know what I'm talking about. <sighs> Naomi! You're too late. The bus just left. It's all your fault. If you weren't in my way, I would have made it. Why'd you miss the bus? I forgot my permission slip. I was really looking forward to camping, too. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing like uh, roughing it in the great outdoors. No. Really? Ow! <laughs> I never pictured you as a nature lover. Are you kidding? <laughs> roughing it is my specialty. I, you know, just call me Mr. Outdoors. Yeah. Well, camping's out, but at least I don't have to spend the weekend with you. I couldn't have said it better myself. Naturally. What do you know? It can get worse. Let's get inside before we get soaked. I mean you, before you get soaked. I mean me. Me, I could stay out in this all day. <laughs> oh, brother. My cell phone can't get a signal. What a drag. What a drag. What a drag. What a drag. It's a Widgmo. It's a radio. A voice recorder. It plays tunes. And it's a phone. Daddy bought it for me. 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 Nah, -uh. admire but never touch. Great, huh? Yeah, it's a real wonder page. So tell me, does it work in here? No. Perfect. I'll go try the phone in the office. Good idea. I'll go with you. No, don't leave me with. Ugh. Great. <sighs> hmm, there's no dial tone. Maybe they shut the phones off for the summer. I guess we'll have to walk home. I'll get an umbrella from the last and found, and then we can go. I get to walk Naomi home. Sweet! <laughs> Woohoo! Oops. Smooth tie. I've got a bad attitude. Oh, catching pneumonia would be better than listening to this. Locked from the inside. Well, just try another door, genius. Why don't you try another door? Say, 
At the other end of the school? Fine. The farther from you, the better. Oh, there they are. Okay, Ty, is that you? Hey! Have you seen Naomi? I thought she was with you. Well, she was, and then she just kind of disappeared. Strange. You want strange? All of the doors are padlocked shut. Really? Must be for summer vacation. Let's try the window. First locked doors and now the lights? Could this be any weirder? Uh, maybe. Wasn't there just a window here? Gah! What's wrong? The wall is squishy. Time to throw some light on things. Mr. Outdoors strikes again. Hmm. Huh? Squishy walls are probably not good. Let's find Naomi and get out of here. Paige must have dropped this. The mall better be open when I get out of here. Hey, who are you? What are you doing? Was it just me or did that sound bad? Oh, speaking of bad, you smell that? Ugh. It smells like rotten meat. <sighs> With a hint of bile. Is the cafeteria still open? We need to find Paige and Naomi now. Tapeworm. But tapeworms are flatworms that live in the digestive tracts of animals. I know. They harm their host by stealing vital nutrients. They're parasites. The smell, the fleshy walls, the tapeworms. I'm no expert, but I'd say that's a giant colon out there. A colon can be a slippery little thing, hmm? Well, a big slippery thing in this case, no. <laughs> what are you up to, mister? Mister? It's Doctor. Doctor Cornelius Colon. <laughs> colon? Your name is Colon? <laughs> Gee, tough break. Bobby Jackson? Present. Cornelius Colon. Present. Colon. <laughs> Cornelius Colon. <laughs> It 
was difficult, but I didn't let the teasing crush my spirit. I embraced the name and became Dr. Colon. A doctor, huh? What do you specialize in? Creeping people out? I'm a proctologist. Do you kiddies even know what that is? Mm? Sure. Proctology deals with diseases and disorders of the rectum, anus, colon, and pelvic floor. Yeah, the colon itself is pretty interesting. <laughs> but I'm the doctor. I'll tell. I'll tell. What are you doing here? I'm growing a giant colon that lives outside the body. Okay. This empty school is the perfect place from which to launch my plan. Which is? <laughs> My colon begins here, but as it feeds and grows, it will spread out, ensnaring everything in its path. Soon everyone will respect a healthy colon because everyone will be inside one. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. Now, what have you done with our friend? And <sighs> Paige. They're my guests in Colon Central. <laughs> Well, the furnace room. <clears throat> As you soon will be. Not today, but face. No! Ah! Ooh. Why you? Time to slide, Ty. Ah! <laughs> Bring them to me. We've got to get out of here. No. Not till I find Naomi. Oh, there! Hurry up, if it closes, we're trapped! <laughs> mind them. My colon will trap them soon enough. It just needs to grow. Oh, and grow it shall. <sighs> we should be safe in here. <sighs> For a while. We've got to contact Lab Rat now. Lab Rat, come in. Can you hear me? The dock must have a frequency jammer. I still can't get through. Don't worry. I'm sure Lab Rat's working on a plan right now. I hear that. Hello, Lab Rat. Ugh. Anything gross going on out there that I should know about? No, no, we're handling all the grossness here. Barely. Excellent. If you need me, I'll be working on my tab. Oh, oh, do I? oh wow. Oh. Ugh. We're wasting time. We've got to get Naomi back now. Easy, Ty. We need to come up with a plan to save them. You're right. All right. But a plan requires facts. Where do we research colons if we can't get in touch with the gag lab? <clears throat> oh, right. The library. That's what normal students do. <laughs> oh, this school needs to update their materials. How old is this? I wish we had some popcorn. For a movie on the digestive system? Licorice? Hmm. I'm trying to listen. Once broken down by powerful acids in the stomach, food passes into the small intestine, where its nutrients are absorbed. Hey! He must have a way to nourish the colon. I bet there's a whole giant digestive system somewhere. Didn't he say something about the furnace room? Constipation is a condition where waste is difficult to eliminate. The most common cause of constipation is a lack of fiber. High fiber foods such as beans, bran, prunes, or prune juice can remedy the problem. That's it, Ty. <laughs> I think that's the answer. A bowel movement or peristaltic rush should follow. Way to go, Johnny. You're going to be regular in no time. <gasps> <laughs> Peristaltic rush! Of course! Ty, you find a way to lure Dr. Colin out of the furnace room. I need to get to the cafeteria. Ty? Ty, wait! Uh-oh. Not good. Uh. 
down. You need a plan? I just need to kick some proctologist butt. Oh, ow, ow. Oh, I should have popped a helmet. Let us go, you demented butt doctor. Tease all you will, young lady. It has no effect on me. Not anymore. Teasing? No effect? You don't know who you're dealing with, Mr. <laughs> Colon. That's Dr. Doctor. What are you gonna do to us? <laughs> I deposit nutrients in this artificial stomach where churning acids begin the digestion process. The nutrients are absorbed by the small intestine where my beloved tapeworms live and feast. So we're nutrients? Exactly. As long as I feed the system, my colon will continue to grow. Now, who wants to be appetizer and who wants to be dessert? Hmm? <laughs> Ooh, aging doctor. Huh? Not funny. Paging Dr. Colin, you're next. Patient is here. That's it. Paging Dr. Time to teach that little brat a thing or two about the awesome power of the colon. Paging Dr. Colin. Paging Dr. Colin. All right, everybody. Freeze. You want some? Come get some! Ah. That's grossology property, you thieving parasite! Great guy, you had to taunt him. I meant to do that. <clears throat> Ty, you're the best. Aw, that's sweet. Now do something about those things! Right. Do something. Okay, you Colin. insolent intestinal Paging insulter! <sighs> it's Dr. time to pay. Colon. Paging Dr. Colon. Paging Dr. Colon. <clears throat> Paging Dr. <clears throat> They're going to find out that you just don't prod a proctologist! <laughs> <laughs> Heel! Down, boys! Oh, much? Now! You know, that was kind of fun. Ty! Give me a hand! We're kidnapped by a loony and you go out for snacks? Come on, help me out! We need to overload this thing with fiber so it'll have an accident. A big accident. <laughs> <laughs> No one messes with my colon! Oh, you are going to get such a worm lashing! Ah! Oh, would you hold still? I'm not trained to hit a moving target! Ah! Oh. <laughs> There's nowhere to hide! Nowhere! I know this colon like the back of my hand. And now, prepare to... <gasps> Prunes? You fed it prunes? Oh, my baby. Oh, my poor baby. Stop it! Stop it! Can't you see it's full? Not quite. It needs a nice drink of water to wash it down. <laughs> no! Plenty of water is important for a healthy colon. Right, Doc? Stop! You're going to make it! This thing's gonna burn! prepared for the camping trip.
Mommy wanted me to be a pianist. The janitor is not going to be happy. He's going to need a few extra mops. I don't know about outdoors, Ty, but you sure saved the day indoors. Hey, no, 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 Biggie. I'm just sorry we missed out on the camping. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? So, young lady. Huh? You stopped this madman all by yourself. Yeah, it was dangerous, but I took charge. That's what heroes do. Mm. Actually, I, the director of the Bureau of Grossology, stopped this villain's plan single-handedly. The Bureau of Grossology? What's that? Sounds like the kind of club Abby and her dorky brother would belong to. Now, see here, young lady. You have no right to take any credit. I have no right. You know, Ty, we should have left Paige in that colon. She really seemed at home in there. Ty? Ty? Hey, Abby, come on in out of the rain. <laughs> Mr. Outdoors strikes again. You know, this camping thing might be more fun than I thought. <laughs> Way more fun. <laughs> Freeze-dried prunes, ladies? Whoa. 